Hey you guys, my name is Clarissa for the those of y'all that are new to my channel for the those of y'all and now welcome back to my channel and yeah. Hey y'all, so today's video is gonna be a you already know what today's video is about i feel like i should do this video i feel like it was different nobody really did a video like this before that i would seen so i decided to do this video basically to sum it up the video was like basically i'm doing netflix but it's other different like show what uh, different types of like drones you could do netflix disney plus cool little things like that i'm doing netflix and Basically what you do is basically share like some good movies that you think most people would be interested in watching. It's like basically like a music playlist but it's just a movie playlist and this is what I like to watch and what I find interesting. So I'm going to share it with you guys so maybe you might find some of these movies on here interesting. You might not but either way it is what it is. But to start it off I'm going to start screen recording and basically all the movies i like and i watch i got it on my i got it like basically i put it in my list so like i know what movies i like and stuff so we're gonna go to my list the first movie that you see up there is set it up that's basically like a movie where two employees set their bosses up and things like that the outcast that's a good movie it's basically if i'm not mistaken it was like about people basically I'm gonna just open them and then like read them, read the uh joints to y'all. So it say in despair, in desperate need of a break from the office too. But yeah, we ain't about to do that. Then the next thing we got is the outcast. It's a movie. After fall, after failing to strike, I need to put my glasses on. Hold on, you guys. But, yeah, I gotta put my glasses on. But they say, after failing to strike a truth with their school queen be two misfit best friends lead a nerd uprising that turns social care. Apparently, we're not gonna do all of it but that's the outcast the next one is a movie called home again it's like basically where a mother of two was uh she her daddy her dad was a movie star he was like producing movies and things like that and it's uh, it was these three boys that wanted to be movie producers and things like that so they basically connected the next one is christmas with a view i watched this a while back it's about like two people who, who basically like two Two boo boo who basically likes to cook and things, so it's like two chefs and things. They get together. The next one is Sierra Burgess is Lucas is about a girl who basically is like a girl that's not so popular that a popular girl. A guy asked for her number, she gave the guy the loser number and they just started texting and things. So it's basically like a catfish, things like that. Next movie is Double Dead. Double Dead is basically about a girl who didn't have a father. She had a father, but she never knew who her father was. So she decided to travel the world to try to find. She decided to trace back come up a step to trying to find out who her dad was because she never had a dad. The next movie is Major Pain. Most people might know Major Pain. Most people might not. Major Pain is a popping movie. Y'all should go watch it. Y'all should go watch all the movies I put y'all on. Because they're good movies. So, yeah, Major Pain. It's about a guy who's in the army, whatever. And they make they basically make him go to the school. And make him... Basically, I don't get it, but... Going for the goal. I like watching this movie because it's actually a good movie. It's about, like, basically a girl who stopped basically she stopped bullying she made people she basically discovered people if one person won't let you into that club you should start your own club don't depend on nobody else basically like that the next movie i have is the holiday calendar calendar it's about a girl who basically her best friend comes back she falls for her best friend 
things like that y'all should go watch them because i love my holiday movies based on holiday and romance movies so yeah the next one i have is christmas inheritance i don't even know how to be pronouncing it because i'll be knowing them and then like it be going through it be it be i'll be saying it right in my brain but it's like when i'm pronouncing it it just be so hard but anyway it's about a girl who basically goes to her basically her hometown and just go from there to get like a fresh start or whatever find another guy fall in love with that guy things like that next thing is stepsister stepsisters is a good movie and things it's about a sorority sisters and things like that go watch it then charlie angels Charlie Angels is a good movie. It's about like spies. You might as well say. You might as well call them spies. They basically meet, uh, got a boss that they never seen. They just speak to them already and get them their mission. And things like that. They go achieve it and things like that. Yeah. No strings attached. I wouldn't condone kids watching this, it, but it's a good movie. It's 18 and older. It's called No Strings Attached. And it's about a guy and a girl who do what they do and don't get no strings attached. Reality High, that's a good movie. It's about, let's say, when nerdy high schooler Danny finally attracts the interest of her longtime crush, she lands in the crosshair of his ex, a social media celebrity. It's about like a girl who basically starts communicating with, she basically changed who she was. And fell for her long time crush all over again and then he fell for her. Then she started hanging out with his ex. Then his ex was doing all this basic childish stuff, things like that, school to her, things like that. The perfect date. The perfect date is basically where though a guy got paid to take uh uh it ain't his friend, but basically the guy paid him to take his cousin on to take his cousin to prom. But it wasn't like a pay. It was like basically he let him use his car. Like he wanted to drive his car and he'll take the cousin on a date. That's a good movie so y'all should watch it. Then this movie, The Night Before Christmas, is about... I'm currently watching it right now. I just had to pause it. But it's about a girl, but a night who's basically teleported from his hometown to a different town to find true love before midnight of christmas so yeah go watch that the next movie is i don't know why they out of order but it's three parts to this the first one is called a christmas prince then the second one is a uh christmas prince the royal one and then it's the third one which is this one and it's a christmas prince the royal baby so yeah with that's that and then we have falling in love it's about a girl who basically her life was falling down apart in her hometown so she decided to enter a contest to win an end but what she didn't know what the end was she had to build the end back up because the picture was basically different from in person and things like that and then she wound up falling in love with a guy that was helping her build her and and things so yeah then we got twilight it's like four different of them no it's five and it's twilight twilight eclipse and then i think it's twilight sage break new moon and then i think is the twilight sage breaking dawn one and then part two I like watching all of them and then we got work it work it is a good movie i, I like watching romance slash romance holiday movies and mo dance movies like dancing and stuff like that and so work it is a dancing movie a brilliant but clumsy high school student vows to get into her dream university by transforming herself in a squad of misses into dance champs so they basically she basically why did they get into her dream college because it was a college that her dad went to and she was actually be connected to her dad 
and so basically she had to change who she was because that wasn't enough to get into the college that she wanted to get into the next movie I have is tall girl that's about a girl who's very tall so she didn't really find a date she didn't find anyone that would really want to date her it was the one guy that had a crush on her but she didn't really want to date him because he was short so then a tall guy moved to their school she felt like she had a chance with him but it wasn't really no chance with him then we have Feel the Beat we have Feel the Beat that's a dancing movie it's a good movie about a girl who career falls the part so she moved back to her hometown then we got the princess which is two parts of these is this one the princess switch and then it's the princess switch again part two i feel like that's a good movie too to watch i love watching it and she and this the same girl yariel well vanessa hugens and she plays in the night before christmas then we have to all the boys i love we got three parts of that to all the boys i love to all the boys i love to all the boys to all the boys always and for, to all the boys p.s i still love you to all the boys always and forever that's a good movie most people probably watched it because like people be posting all over social media and things like that and then we got the kissing booth which is two parts to that i know i know a lot of people watch that because that be all over social media too and then we got fatherhood fatherhood is a good movie i feel like i didn't really want to watch it but i watched it with uh, somebody and it was a good movie about a dad who basically after his wife gave birth to their daughter she passed away so he was left all alone to raise the baby well he wasn't all alone but he felt like he, he wanted to raise his daughter so he raised his daughter all by himself and he was very very protective of his daughter then we have we can be heroes that's a good movie i like it if you watch shark boy and lava girl you know what it is and yeah and then another christmas dream that i had is a cinderella a cinderella story christmas wish that's good it's about a girl who basically can sing and things like that she got the evil stepsisters you know evil stepmom and they basically try to take over her life but what they didn't know was she already met the boy but they just ain't know things like that da 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 and that's that it ooh and I felt like that's all the movies but I don't think it is so yeah and then we got the movie my girl that's a good movie then we got, cause all of them ain't pop up and I don't know why. Then we got the movie Christmas in the Heartland. That's about basically a girl, two girls who goes to their hometown for the holidays. And basically they switch spots. They basically switch spots. So they not even swings, nothing like that. But they family never they family or not, they family and their hometown never really met them, never know what they really look like. So they decided to switch sides and go spend time with each other's families and things. So yeah. Then come to find out at the end they related. Some they related and things. So yeah, and then the next movie was Christmas with a Prince is about a, a prince who got injured and he went to a hospital where a lady was working there. They wanted to keep a low profile, they don't want nobody to know that he was there because you know the media comes around. They wound up falling for each other and things, so yeah. And I believe that is all to go with my list of movies you can watch and suggestions that'll be good. Um, nope, we got this Rip the Tie, it's about basically a girl. How I fell apart, I feel as though all these movies are like, uh, people like falling apart and just going back to their hometown. But yeah, she went back to her hometown to get away from the cameras and things like that, paparazzi's 
and things that happened in the town that she was in. So she went back to her hometown. Daughter literally, she wanted to go live with her aunt, left her mom, because basically her mom ain't really want to hear about ideas. So she went back to her hometown. God, God, she started like basically, she started, she started basically decorating people outfits and stuff like that. The next one we have is raising a bar. This is the same girl from going going for the gold, but this one is just they doing gymnastics and things. She basically she basically had to move from a different state over and over because of the work that her mom does. They always getting moved to a different state, so she don't really try to make friends, but she made friends with them, and they basically formed a gymnastics team. Wild Child is about a girl who's basically a wild child she don't listen things like that so they send her to a boarding school what's a girl what a girl's want this movie is basically about a girl who went look went, who went looking for her dad and things so she went looking for her dad from a picture that she had then we got a princess for christmas uh basically a girl her sister passed away so she took on the rubber she, the mom and dad passed away so she took on her nieces her niece and nephew and was raising them until they got invited to the dad's side of the family invited them for christmas and things like that then we got dj cinderella dj cinderella is basically a girl who's a DJ but she calls herself DJ Cinderella so it's basically like a Cinderella story because her prince was looking for her. Then we got Zap. That's a dance movie about a girl who's basically got a new family things like that. Moved in and then with the family and things changed from there. People probably watched that because it's like an old movie. Never Back Down. That's a good fighting movie. Cradle to the Grave. That's a good movie. It's about D it's a movie with DMX in it. People probably watch this because it's an old movie too. It's from 2003. But it is about DMX. His daughter got took in because of these diamonds and things like that. So he had to get his daughter back. Then Waist Deep is basically a movie with Tyrese in it. And basically he was riding home with his son in the back seat suite. And they robbed him for his car because of, his, for, because of his, the girl that's because of the girl. She set them up and things like that. And then the next movie is Hoverman. That's a good movie. It's about a girl. A, basically, a man was doing something bad with like his friends and things like that. They caught his friend. And then the day of their daughter's birthday, they decided to go to the carnival and things like that. Because they had a party. But nobody showed. So they went to the carnival, got ice cream, things like that. And while the mom was getting her change, the dad and the daughter were looking back to the car. And they basically killed to that. The, the daughter and the dad and the dad so the lady just went plain and saying and the police wasn't solving her the the uh, the wasn't solving the murder so she decided to murder, find solve it herself the next is five feet apart is about a girl and a boy who who falls in love with each other but they have to be five feet apart at all times then we got the movie my girl my girl is basically a movie about uh, two kids who fall for each other and then the boy wound up dying because he was attacked by a bee going back to look for the girl brain. You are your minds and ours. It's about a guy and a lady who got a lot of kids. They, they basically adopt kids. So they wound up connecting together and basically all the kids together we got the movie leap i love watching this i watched this like six times i don't care if y'all say it's for kids i like watching it because it be popping then we got we got good burger i know most people watch good burger we got after after is a good movie then we got a second part to it that say after we collided y'all should go watch it oh um, and that's it for my list of movies that are interesting for people to watch. But that's it for this video. 
don't forget to like comment subscribe follow all my social media that'll be linked in the description and yeah peace out